In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, I'd like to show you three ways in which you can elongate the appearance of your final project by making it look somewhat shorter from top to bottom and wider from left to right. We do this by adding bars at the top and bottom of our screen so that it looks different proportionally when the black is compared to the image. This comes as a request from one of my subscribers. Now, if you're going to do this, you need to be aware that the first two methods we will show you are methods that will reduce the actual size of your video. They will cover up some of your data. The third method will not, but it will change the proportions. So there's a little bit of trade-off no matter which method you use. I have on the screen a video, a drone shot, and we're going out over a peninsula, and then we have the name of a real estate agent and their company. Let's assume we want to change the proportional look of this clip. Let me give you three ways you could do that. The first method is simply to click on the video clip. Here mine is on track number one. Click on the designer button above the timeline and click the drop down and choose in PowerDirector 17 Mask Designer. That opens up my Mask Designer. Now the easy way to do this would be to take the rectangular white mask at the very top and click on it. Now it's masking the sides. I don't want it to do that. I can change that pretty easily. First of all, I'm going to drag down. I have Maintain Aspect Ratio turned on by default. I'll uncheck that in the left panel. And then we'll simply narrow it at the top and move it up using the handle from the bottom and then widen it to the left and widen it to the right. And then click on OK. And when I do this, it does look longer and not quite as tall when I'm done. Now the problem with this method is you have to do this to every single clip that you have. You cannot mask a group of clips at the same time. But if you want to do that, there is a shortcut. And let me give you, if you want to apply that, I'll go back to my mask designer. We'll go back to the uh, X, which means no mask. And if you want to apply the same mask to multiple clips, you can create one of your own. I'm going to pop up on the screen an image here where I have created a simple mask by drawing a black bar at the top and bottom of a box that's the same proportion as my video screen. And so this will serve as my mask. I can save this as a PNG. And then what I can do is I can import it. If I look down here, I have that file imported as a, a custom mask. And I can click down here to custom masks and I see my file and I can take that and double click on it. Now in this case, I'm going to have to invert it. So I'll click on the invert button on the left side and that will now be the same size of mask for every single clip in my entire production. So I would have to repeat the process, but at least I know the proportions would be the same if I use this technique. And then I have OK here, and now I have that one common mask that I would have to apply to every clip in my project. But it would be one way to change the apparent proportions. Let me give you another way to do that. We're going to click on our designer, mask designer, and turn off the mask uh, to repeat this using a different technique. I'll click on the X there, click on OK. And now I have no mask on my project. Another way to apply this, and this would work over multiple clips easier, but getting the proportions where you want might be harder, would be using a black color board at the top and bottom. So now I'll click on the down arrow, Go to Color Boards, take my black one, drag it to a higher numbered track, and then I need to change the size and shape of it. Now, once again, you notice it's, it's observing my proportions, but if I double click on it to edit it in the PIP Designer, I've added some grid lines here so I can control the size, but I have to again turn off Maintain Aspect Ratio on the left, and I can size it to wherever I want it in the grid. 
and create a top mask. Repeat the process using a higher number track and double click on it to get into my PIP designer. Turn off aspect ratio and then I can make the bottom section approximately the same size. Click on OK and now I have a mask on top and bottom that will play for, I can lengthen it for the entire length of my project no matter how many clips I have in my video. A third option is simply to resize the video if you want to. And here I'm going to click and drag in, make it somewhat smaller. If I double click on it, that gets me into my PIP Designer. Again, I may find this grid useful in my PIP Designer, so I'm just going to change the aspect ratio of it. And then I can turn off once again the maintain aspect ratio and I can drag to the left using the handle and drag to the right. Now I've created a black and white area above and below using this third method. Now the only problem with this one is this has now stretched the proportions of the clip especially if you have people in your shot they will look wide and fat compared to the normal look and so it will stretch it out. But that's the third way you can apply that technique to reproportion your entire project by adding black to the top and bottom.